guys welcome to another brand new video of the dotnet and c sharp tutorial series i am aditya and in this video we will be installing and setting up our computer for dotnet and c sharp development so guys first let's open a browser and for running any dotnet application or c sharp application you need the dotnet framework installed in mostly windows applications you get it already but we are going to use a dotnet core as it is cross platform and even if you're a mac user the process will be almost the same so i can just write dotnet core download and after that you get an official link from microsoft that is dotnet core linux mac os and windows so the process will be almost the same so guys after you open the website as you can see dotnet.microsoft.com i'll be keeping the links in the description below also so after you open this you're gonna get like this like all the versions of dotnet core and you must just choose the recommended version right now it is 3.1 dotnet core 3.1 so click on that and it will start downloading and after that the, the setup is also very simple uh, you must just go to the default options just like ok ok install and it will do the thing it may take a little while and after that we'll be installing vs code which is an ide and guys i hope that right now we have installed dotnet core and guys now we need an ide so an ide is something like a development environment where you actually write your code in and makes it much easier for us to write code because it has some features like intelligence or code completion and then it provides you with some tools extra tools for faster coding so like that visual studio is also one of them for actually dotnet there is even an ide called professional ide called as visual studio it is has it has versions depending on the year like visual studio 2017 2019 the latest one is 2019 we'll be not installing that because that's a heavy software kind of that and it takes a lot of time to download all this stuff and it's a, actually a very huge process and this visual studio code is a lightweight editor supports multiple languages so that's why we'll be using this so here i'll give the link in the description for this site also and here you can see for windows depending on your operating system you can download it the installation process is very easy and after you install i'll see you in the visual studio code page so guys right now after you open visual studio code after installing it successfully you might get a screen like this i actually have a different theme for you it might be a little much more darker and the first thing which we are going to do is use the terminal and check our .NET installation. I could actually have used in the normal terminal or command prompt in Windows, but we'll be learning about how we can use the terminal inside VS Code. So here you go to the terminals tab and open terminal where, and you can even see a shortcut over here. You can use that. So I'll be going like this and here. You can see here it has opened a panel for us there's nothing but a command prompt and even you can choose what kind of command prompt you want to use like uh, there's windows command prompt powershell and git bash for this video we'll be just using the cmd normal command prompt and guys to check the dotnet installation you can just write dotnet dash dash version and press enter and if it was successful it will show you all these things so here we can see dotnet version 3.1.2 so now this installation was successful and now let's configure vs code for dotnet on c shop development for that we must go over here which is called as extensions tab and click on that and here you must search for c shop so i actually have already installed so if it won't be installed for you so you must search here for vs code c shop and after you get that and you'll get a window like this somewhat like this and here you will get an install button here I, as you can see i have options like disable uninstall and set color theme whereas you will get an option like install and you must install that after installing you're done with setting up an extension or all the required plugins for c sharp and now we must just open a folder to work with c sharp so guys first uh, here you can go over here you can see file and here we have options such as new file new window new open file open folder so here we'll choose of open folder and here I'll go to C sharp and here again I have a folder and I'll be opening this and here you can see we have a C sharp folder opened over here you can see the name of the folder and I'll just close this welcome screen and here we must open terminal and click new terminal and write dotnet new console so press enter and it will create a kind of a template basic template for writing c sharp code 
So guys, right now you can see it has successfully completed. As you can see here, we got the message as restore succeeded. And here in the folder, you can see there are more items like we have an object folder and here we have the main that is program.cs file. And here after we open that, you can see here we have some uh, C sharp code. So after you create this, I recommend that you kind of restart your Visual Studio Code IDE, close it and restart it. And you must always check whenever you create like this file using the terminal, check that this starts running. So here we can see start Omnishop server, starting Omnishop server. So this will initiate all the required tools for actually developing in C sharp and it will give us IntelliSense everything. If this doesn't start or you have any problem with that, you just close Visual Studio Code, restart it again and still you're facing some problems and this is not running. You can keep the problems in the comments down below. I'll be always ready to answer your queries or you can even search it on Google or Stack Overflow for solutions. So guys, now you can see it has started all the tools, starting up all the tools so see you after all this thing is finished so guys now as you can see it has completed and now we even have another new folder called as bin now we must create all the required files to actually run and debug the program so guys now here we should open the command prompt of this vs code or you can just call it the command line or anything so to open it you must just use a shortcut key called as Control shift p and for mac i guess it is command shift p and here you can see we got from .NET like generate assets for build and debug. So just press enter on this and it will create all the required files for us to run the program and debug it. And here if you see we got two files called as launch.json and tasks.json. So if you go through over here you can see all the configurations for this. So first we are going to launch.json and here we should just change, we'll just change it to external terminal. So external terminal and make sure that you follow the casing E should be small and T should be capital and other other keyword all the letters are small and the task.json is you can just leave it same way and guys now we can just go to program.cs and just add a small line like console dot read line and here you can see we even got some intellisense and after that we can just go over here run and select run without debugging so here we got a new kind of bar over here and first it will start building the c sharp file so here you can see executing task so guys right now here you can see after the build process you can see that we have got a terminal open for us and it says .NET exe and it has run the program for us and it's just a simple hello world program and here we, if we can see I'll just minimize it you can see all the process is done it has opened the debug console and here you can see that terminal will be used reused by task and you must get something like this and if you have any error you can please comment on below and I'll be always ready to answer your doubts or queries so I'll just press enter over here and it will close it and it will even close this bar over here and stop the terminal so I can just press enter over here as well and it will remove everything so guys that was about how we can use VS Code and .NET Core to actually run uh, C Sharp programs in our system. And guys I hope you like this video. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any updates. So see you in the next video.